Hey, good people. Today we are on the Nakuru Eldol Highway at uh, Ngata, a few kilometers from, or rather, meters from uh, Gata Bridge. We are here to show you the new road signages that were put by the government uh, a few days ago after the section reported so many accidents during the Christmas festivity where we lost so many people on this section. The government appears to have moved the speed and uh, directed some signages to warn motorists and other road users of uh, some impeding dangers. Yeah, it's one of the signages. This one huge signage warning motorists that uh, this section is a, it's a black spot. Black spots are zones or areas that are prone to accidents. Like this section here, it's a downhill and there is there's a sharp bend down there where motorists or truckers are known no, to be are notorious of free wheeling, either to save fuel or other things, they know better. So, these are so, black spots. It's a black spot, man. Yeah, the skull and the bones. Let's go down and uh, see. What are the signages? The vehicles, as you can see, are coming from the Nakuru side, and as they move, they head to the Eldred side. This truck with Uganda number plate, also this one is coming from the Eldred side, or rather Salga, another notorious black spot. Let's walk down and see what other signages we have here. You can see this uh, sharp bend that has also claimed lives, many lives in the recent past. Vehicles driving down here failed to manage to negotiate the corner and uh, the vehicles end up in neighboring farms or plantations. There's this uh, signage here, written uh, fifth. Uh, this round uh, traffic sign eh, once will give orders to motorists that they should drive at 50 kilometers per hour at this section. But uh, as you can see, all of you have seen before, vehicles are driving beyond the limit. Even summer, you can just see are driving with over 100 kilometers per hour at a section where you are supposed to drive at uh, 50 kilometers per hour. Let's go down and see what other sign is here. Then we have these, uh, like, as you can see, this bus was trying to overtake on a section that should not. We have these other rectangular 
or road signage that's giving information to motorists that uh, they should observe lane discipline. However, at this point you'll find that uh, most drivers or motorists are overtaking at this point, especially those going uphill. You'll find them uh, even using the rain for people who are supposed to go down here. Whereas you can see we have a continuous yellow line. Yeah. This is another signage black spot signage uh, near gutter, gutter bridge from the Salgar side. Black spot. This is another area prone to accidents. Let's keep going. I don't know how these people here feel when they have a makeshift kiosk here at an area prone to accidents. Imagine a truck loses control up here. Mm -hmm. They'll come down and plow them to their death. That's another black spot warning signage as you drive upwards towards Sadka. Now we are a few meters to the gutter, the famous gutter bridge or gutter black spot. Someone is selling uh, honey here. Another issue that causes accidents along this route is uh, vehicles picking and dropping passengers. As you can see, with those two vehicles, they are picking and dropping passengers on the highway. Then there are trucks overtaking there, but one is on a, a climbing lane. I don't find any issue with that. Let's go down towards the uh, Gutter Bridge or Gutter Center. There's this uh, huge signage here by the Kenya National Highway Authority. Uh, Little fuel levy used to maintain this road. Actually, when you buy fuel, there's a certain percentage that's uh, deducted that's used to maintain uh, the highway and other roads. That's why fuel is very costly here in Kenya. And I think worldwide, they usually have. Uh, 
a certain percentage that's deducted for the maintenance or construction of such uh, aisles or roads. Yeah, this is the Kenya Highway Authority. And it's part of the Vision 2030. The Kenya Vision 2030. That was started by President Moi Kibaki, who was the president of Kenya. Let's see what they have on this other side. Basically, it's the same information that is here as it was on the other side. Where well, they used to maintain this road. It's a highway. Let's proceed with our journey towards uh, Gara Bridge. It's a guy using the truck to ride up here. He hitched a ride. Major Petroleum. There's another guy here hitching a ride up here. Oblivious of the danger, he's exposing himself to in case the truck makes an emergency stop. Very risky. That's a huge truck carrying other vehicles. I think to East African countries such as Rwanda or Uganda or even to Sudan. It's a major highway that uh, cruises to other East African regions or Great Lakes region like Congo, Rwanda, Burundi and uh, other areas from the port of Mombasa. You know, those countries are landlocked so they, they don't have their own ports. They rely much on the Mombasa port in Kenya for the importation of vehicles and other goods. And they must use this highway. They use this highway to Marava border or to Busia and then to their respective countries. This is another load signage, a readable from uh, the Nakuru side or the Gata Bridge side. As it looks as with the previous ones, these are black spot signage. Let's see. Yeah, it's a black spot signage. Warning, motorists. Warning motorists to drive with caution or else you'll just be like those bones. That's a vehicle actually on a black spot, a lighting passengers or at a black spot, which is very dangerous. And from a distance there, you can see the famous Gata Bridge. It has a railway other pass. That's why it's called a bridge. This is where most of the accidents occur. When the vehicles drive freewheel from the elderly to the Salga side, it's a sharp, there's a sharp bed up there, and uh, 
as you go down it's a steep down here drive and most of the vehicles will drive but when they approach this side or this port eh, there's that sharp bed there on the bridge where the vehicles are unable to negotiate smoothly and they'll have to either hit the embankments or other vehicles especially those ones climbing on the, the other side that's why most of the accidents occur at this point and this uh, Gutter Bridge shopping center here guys have stories to tell about uh, accidents that happen on this area they are the first responders long before the police and uh, the Red Cross guys are alive to pick the injured or retrieve bodies it's a very risky zone That's a vehicle joining the highway to master for the tracks. And else will cause an accident here live. Uh, shopping complex made from uh, containers. It's a very nice, but only some uh, liquor, liquor shops opened here. This area has uh, an institution called the Lithuari Institute of Technology where students or comrades usually walk to this shopping center in the evenings for a sip or a, a drink. At Gata Center, there is this shed where Buddha Buddha riders or motorcycle riders and uh, some drivers uh, take a rest and uh, majority of them have witnessed accidents on this section i'll talk to them and have what they have to say about this section and what they have witnessed because as i said they are the first responders when accidents occur at this point let's hear what they have to say Jinalangu ni john nyakea mimi mkaji wa hapa na tuongelea kuhusu hizi accident zimepungua hapa kiasi lakini shida hao madrivers wa trucks inabidi polisi waje hapa huwa wapime speed maana yake zinateremka mbio kwa sababu hakuna mtu wa kuzipima speed tukionalea hivyo speed nini accident zitapungua zaidi accident tumeiti na hapa mingi zinakosiwa na hizi trucks na mingi wao wao madrivers huwa wanaweka mafuta la free kwa maana wameuza mafuta huko juu salga sasa inahitajika hii free 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 gear hii kuacha free gear ni hatari sana sasa wawachane nayo polisi wao hapa always wapime speed mimi kwa majina ni Josephat Mosomi Umano mimi barabara ni yetu na ninafanya kazi kama kondaki shida tunayo inataikana kuanzia juu kwa mlima iwekwe pambo kubwa tukicha katikati wewe pambo ya kutosha ndio hizi madrivers sipunguze speed sababu dereva akifika juu mlima ngata anawajiria gari vile anataka akifika hapa juu unakuta mwingine na yeye amejiweka vile amejiweka anakorogenisha hizo gari unakuta gari imeenda chini kwa hivyo ninaomba kama inawezekana pump sana sana polisi zi wa maana lakini pump ndio isu hiyo hiyo speed ya hao madrivers Ajali itapungua katika hali yetu ya ngati. Asante. This is a gathering section for the business of the country. You can see there are some people here passing and waiting for that to stop. And they are moving away from it. As you can see, there is this matatu here. That will make a stop here to 
half passengers on the ferry. That's big passengers. Now we'll be ending our video in a short time. But uh, before then, let's walk uh, over the Gata Bridge. Kenha has placed uh, barriers on this section of the road, but uh, at times they don't work because when a vehicle is over speeding, these are, as you can see, these are half meter high uh, barrier because you still topple over and roll. You can see your upper deck, the upper side, then we have farms and houses on the other side. This is a section where an accident was recorded the other day, whereby a truck lost control and hit the barrier. And I was as I was telling you, the barrier is not of much use because eventually the truck rolled to the lower side of the highway and that other road connecting there is the barrier that was hit it's made of concrete and uh, metal but uh, it's of no use especially when there is a huge impact as you can see with what happened at this section Down there is the gutter center. We are now on the gutter bridge. Like I said there is a, a little other pass. And that's the railway line. That's the name to get a bridge. That railway, that railway ends to as far as uh, Kisumu on the western side of Kenya. And those are, and the find there, the Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology. So I told you some students or comrades visit the Gata Center in the evenings for some drinks at the wine and spirits shops that we saw. Now we are descending towards uh, Nakuru, the Gata Bridge. Yeah, just from the 
bridge which is a few meters behind me and there are these uh, road signages here we start with the first one here as you remember at the beginning of this video there was a, a signage a circular signage inscribed 50 which was an order was ordering a motorist to drive at uh, 50 kilometers per hour to that section but here we have the same but now on a white board and uh, there are some lines cancelling or closing it these signages indicate that this is the end of the 50 kilometers per hour and this is where the motorist now will have to drive faster than the 50 kilometers per hour as you can see there are those uh, lines there cancelling let's continue and see what we have other signages we have there You still have this one, the rectangular. The information road sign reminding drivers to observe the lane display that is you should not move or drive in undesignated zones you should not overtake and allies and you should always drive on your side When you go to driving schools here in Kenya or elsewhere, these are the signs that are always there. You have the triangular, the circle, the rectangle, some in yellow, some in red, others in green. All of them have different meanings. Hey, my good people, now we come to the end of this section of our reportage today about the black spot on the Gata Bridge or Gata area of the Nakuru Eldoret Highway, where in the recent past the government has recorded so many accidents occasioned by uh, poor driving among motorists or passengers using undesignated sections close from one end to the other. Now, these are the kind of uh, signages that the government erected the other day after the public outcry following so many deaths on this section of the road. Thank you so much my followers and subscribers and viewers for being here to watch this video. I have noted that majority of my viewers have not subscribed to my channel. Kindly, please hit that subscribe button like and comment on videos so that uh, i can continue giving you guys more videos of happening surrounding this point also as you have noted my videos are a bit shaky because i am using my phone to record but in future i am planning to go for a professional equipment like a gopro or gopro hero 10 or hero 11 for videos most stable videos that's how guys you assist me to grow by just subscribing to my channel and recommending it to your friends thanks guys and let's meet in the next video where i'll be showing you more of nakuru county and other areas that might be of interest to you guys also you can comment there and say what next you should you should like to watch or hear about